A candlelight vigil tonight at Madera Community Hospital. The hospital is currently in bankruptcy court. It's been closed, as you know, since December. CBS 47's Ben Morris has more on the hospital's future tonight. A gathering of about 50 stood outside the hospital today to demand action to revive this essential health care facility. Ultimately, it's life or death for everybody in Madera County. A line highlighting the seriousness and importance to reopen the hospital that once provided an oasis of health care to the city of Madera and its surrounding rural communities. Take a look at the crowd gathering outside the doors of Madera Community Hospital Thursday evening, demanding the state take action to bring the crucial facility back to life. So residents aren't forced to travel all the way to Fresno or Merced in case of an emergency. It's miles and miles away, the next, uh, the closest emergency room. So it's extremely important for us that the Madera residents have access to health care, especially emergency health care. The hospital closed its doors back in December before filing for bankruptcy in March. On August 1st, the Madera County Board of Supervisors voted to approve half a million dollars to keep the facilities afloat for the month, as they hoped the state would approve the $80 million loan the hospital applied for, part of the state's new distressed hospital loan program. From that standpoint, we haven't heard anything we are hoping to have heard by now, but it looks like it's going to be extended out possibly up to 30 days. The county's facilities dollars will last until August 26th. Now they are working with the city on additional funding. As for the state, Assemblywoman for District 27 Esmeralda Soria, who worked directly on the distressed hospital loan program, remains confident they'll get the funding and that the hospital should get an answer by next week. We are encouraging, you know, folks just to uh, be patient, uh, but uh, to know that this is the number one priority and that it will reopen. It will just be a matter of time. Soria tells me confidence remains high because the distressed hospital loan program happened because of the historic collapse here in Madera. Even though there are over a dozen other applicants statewide with only $300 million to go around. Reporting in Madera, Ben Morris, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.